What's happening YouTube, I hope you're all well and good. Android Audio Recorder, tutorial 5, validating the text input for just numbers. We're going to be defining the enforce numeric function. Right, so if we uh, pick up from where we left off last time, uh, we've got a working, half working app that counts down and counts up, but we've got a little issue okay so if we just run the program as normal alright and the objective is uh, this tutorial is to define the enforce numeric function okay which will stop the user from putting inputting unwanted characters i.e. not numbers alright so if the display label text is not a number okay we're going to create a list called digit list which is going to store all the integers all right, and then join them all together to create the duration. All right, so as you can see, what just happened there? I just input hello world, and it totally crashed the program. There's two things that we don't like as Python programmers: that's Java and program crashes. Okay. All right, so define enforce numeric self. Okay. Right, I'm going to do this uh, one way and then I'm going to show you a variation right at the end. So it's going to be if not self and then the user input text. So if not self dot user input dot text dot is digit. So we're saying if the user input text is not a digit, we want you to create a list called digit list you can call these variables whatever you like okay you don't have to be it doesn't have to be digit list preferably not x digit list equals num for num which is basically item for item or what have you so num 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 in self dot user input dot text if num dot is digit so if it's a digit please put it in my digit list right and then we have to do a self dot user input dot text equals and we're going to do parentheses dot join parentheses it's not parentheses it's quotation marks you stupid netpoke quotation marks dot join and then digit list okay so we're going to take all the items in the list and join it together to wait one number obviously the duration that the the user's chosen so for as an example user tries to enter arbitrary characters enforce numeric is monitoring the input and creates digit list which contains three four five six only it does not uh, include the letters it completely ignores the letters and then dot join is called on the list which produces 340 300 3456 seconds all right so and the only thing we have to do to get this working is we go up to our text input I'm getting ahead of myself there and we do an on text root and then we call the function that we've just created enforce numeric and it's as easy as that if we run it all right we delete this and I'm typing on the keyboard now I'm trying to type my name it's not it's not happening it's not accepting it but as soon as I press any numbers as you can see they appear so it doesn't even let the user uh, type type any characters so that's exactly what we want all right so press start obviously it works as normal Okay, perfecto. Oh yeah. Okay, so stop recording. Right. So we basically assigned the function up here to our text input. Okay. Now a little variation I'm going to show you guys for you beginners in case the if not um, statement is a bit confusing. All right. I do suggest that you um, look up some Python documentation and stuff and just. Uh, practice a bit okay it can be a bit confusing but you'll get used to it don't worry about it 
but you can also do an if self dot user input dot text dot is digit is equal to false uh, so it's basically saying if the input uh, is digit returns a false i.e. it's not a digit um, then create the digit list and it's exactly the same guys alright so let's start that and we've got 372 minutes I think we'll stop that there alright so well done that's it we're one step away from um, accessing the audio recorder okay in the next tutorial so we're going to be accessing some python sorry we're going to be accessing some java classes using python all right thanks for watching if you like what you saw please subscribe and click the thumbs up i will appreciate it next tutorial will be adding the code to access the android audio recording java classes with python the link for the code of all the tutorials are in the description if you've got any questions that you want to ask or any comments they're more than welcome. You can also follow me on Twitter at Nepon. More tutorials coming. Keep coding. Keep being awesome. See ya.